Today I would like to tell you more about Commit to Changes Hygiene Impact Project brought to you by students from Polk County College and Career Academy from Cedartown High School. The Hygiene Impact Project is part of the Commit to Change Committee which is also part of our school's FBLA chapter. This committee is a community service group who has several subcommittees that focus on different needs in our local community. The Hygiene Impact Project focuses primarily on giving hygiene bags to those who are needy and less fortunate. We work strictly off donations. We have partnered with the community kitchen that provides hot meals to those in need on the third Saturday of each month, rain or shine. This happens downtown Cedartown in a small park. We come together with this group and help serve food and provide every single person who comes to eat with a hygiene bag to take home with them. This is an example of the flyer we share on social media, post around town, and on bulletin boards and other locations. Here you will see some of the items that we place in the hygiene bags. These are all donations we have received through the clubs at our school, community members, and business donations, as well as through our Amazon wish list. So here you will see a day in the life of the community kitchen. Cooking the food on site, serving the food, fellow shipping, handing out hygiene bags, and more. It truly is a wonderful day for all. This shows that we receive donations of all kinds, big and small. This is an actual box that we received of travel and hotel size shampoos, conditioners, lotions, and soaps. We were able to use these in our hygiene bags. And when we receive donations like this, these go a long way. We pack them as quickly as possible so that we are prepared for the next event. So take a glimpse into our room and us sorting items to place them into the bags. Sometimes things are a mess, but we get things in order very quickly. We actually have a system. When we get to work, it doesn't take long to get things done. So here you're gonna see that we have feminine hygiene products, snacks, razors, deodorant, toothbrushes, and toothpaste. And this is just a few of the items that we put in the hygiene bags. Now this is one of our group members showing you a completed hygiene bag. Sometimes we're lucky enough to have nice gift bags with handles to give out. And sometimes we just have those plastic bags from Walmart or other retail stores. Either way, the products work the same and our recipients are very thankful. So this may look like junk crammed into a trunk, but we're headed to an event and it usually takes two to three cars to get us there. Sometimes we come back with just as much or more than we left with. And this is because People know who we are now and our mission, and sometimes they'll stop and give us donations that they've collected for us so that we'll have items for our next event. Here we are at an event. This is actually the community kitchen, and we are setting up the hygiene bags to give out to all who come for a hot meal. You're gonna notice that we have some of the bags that I mentioned earlier with the handles, and then some of the plastic sacks with the hygiene products in them also. We were fortunate enough to have some blankets donated to us and we were there getting those ready to hand out as well. Our current goal is to be able to attend every single community kitchen event through the end of 2024. We know with the help of community members, business leaders, and Lead for Change, we can do it. We are also working towards a plan for 2025, so stay tuned. Thank you for your consideration in helping us continue to help others.